I'm Mark Frieden, and I've written a book. Really? 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 And all of this may have just gotten me into a bit of trouble. Really? The following is just one more reason why I have to apologize for my book. It all began when you released an album called Higher Ground and asked me to do an interview. Yes, Barbara, you asked me to do an interview. I didn't ask for any of this stuff, but I gotta tell you, as a gay man, I was excited to do it. There was one song in your entire repertoire that described where you are in life today. What would it be? I don't, I don't, you know, see, I don't think about my career as much as you do or most people do. I just do the work and then I move on. Dear Babs, now that might be a little too in your face. I have to be sincere. Dear Barbara. Okay, I know I called you a bitch. And as a gay man, that's probably a high crime. Yeah, a little bit. And I know I called you a fucking control freak. But sometimes the truth hurts. Do you feel sometimes that you need somebody to protect you? Of course, of course. I think everybody does. Women come from it from a different point of view, more a father uh, image, you know, big brother, father uh, image of protection as well as lover. And men, men have a different need, you know, the more maternal, supportive person. But hopefully if you're the right pair, you give each other all those things. Hmm. Now that all looked pretty congenial, didn't it? Well, it should have. My butt was clenched so tight that if I put a piece of coal between the cheeks, I could have produced a diamond. But the real tight ass of the day was you, Barbara. I have to go ahead and do what I feel is right. And if people don't like that, they don't like it. And all the details are right in here for the rest of you to eat up. But it makes me think because it's in here, that's the last little tete-a-tete -tete Barbara and I are ever gonna have. If we lived by a simple sentence, the golden rule, you know, do unto others as you would have others do unto you, what a world that would be, wouldn't it? Do you believe that could happen? I think in time, it's either that place or disintegration. You know, of a society who falls apart because of its negativism. For my indiscretion, aka the truth, I humbly apologize. Really? These stories and a whole lot more in Really, a memoir and other observations from a man who's lived life not quite famous enough. Publishers Weekly had this to say about Really. Frieden's energy, charisma, and honesty are admirable. Readers will come away rooting for him to become, quote, famous enough. Really is available on Amazon and BarnesandNoble.com.